five, four, three, two, one, and freeze. Okay, so I'd like you to all put down your pens or your pencils and hopefully you've now got your circles that are full of lots and lots of different things, lots of different words um, of things in your life or things that you can think about and imagine that make you happy. Um, and then underneath, hopefully you have that title written underneath, what makes me happy. So now what I would like you to do is with that piece of paper right in front of you, I would like you to look at it and I'd like you to look at all of those different words and all of those different things that you have um, imagined in your mind of everything that makes you happy. And I would like you to see which of those words really stand out, which ones you really think that's what makes me really happy. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to take those words and we're going to turn it into a piece of creative writing. OK, so I don't want you to kind of worry about this being um, there being anything kind of right or wrong. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Honestly, there's no right or wrong way to be creative and to be imaginative. Um, all of it is just kind of being expressive and all of it is meant to be really fun. So what I'd like you to do is to have a think about the form that you would like your creative writing to take. So maybe, I mentioned some at the beginning, but maybe it could also be a letter. Maybe you would like to write a letter to someone. Um, maybe it could be to someone you know, or maybe someone you don't know about something that makes you happy and why it makes you happy. It's really, really powerful in creative writing to talk about how something makes us feel, because we can go into lots and lots of different detail about why that particular thing that makes us happy makes us feel the way that we do. So maybe you'd like to put that in a letter to someone or maybe you'd like to uh, write in the letter maybe a memory around that particular thing that makes you happy. Um, it's, com it's completely up to you but sometimes the form of a letter is quite good because you can write in a really really friendly way or you could write to someone, like imagine if you were writing a letter to the Queen um, and you were telling the Queen all about something in your life that makes you really, really happy. Or maybe you could be writing a letter to um, an alien or someone who doesn't even live on the same planet and you want to tell that alien all about your life and what makes you happy in your life. So have a think. It could be someone that you know or maybe someone completely far away out of even out of this planet <laughs> um, so it could be a letter it could also be a short story so maybe you'd like to come up with a short story and you can imagine the characters maybe one of the characters might be you um, there might be your friends in the short story but it would be all about something that makes you happy so maybe it could be some the a moment when you discovered something that makes you happy it could be finding an object or it could be going on an adventure with your family or your friends um, and how happy that that made you so this is a real real chance to kind of use your imagination and to come up with a story or come up with characters that can take you wherever you want to go remember this creative writing exercise is all uh, for you to kind of be as expressive as you want to be. So we have a letter, we've got a short story. We could also have a poem. So a poem is a really um, exciting and fun way to write creatively because you are experimenting maybe with kind of different words or rhyming or you're playing a bit with with language um, and you're also finding your own kind of style which is always really exciting when you read poetry because you know that not one poem is the same as, a, as another one so you could come up with kind of a whole poem all about one thing that makes you happy um, or you could list lots and lots of things that make you happy in one poem so you could do that you could also, what else could you do? You could also, um, you could write down about a memory. So you could perhaps remember something like 
being on holiday. Maybe you were on a on a summer holiday and you're on the beach with all of your family or maybe some of your friends and you want you have this image really clearly in your head and you shut your eyes and you know that you're on the beach and what what do you see? What can you see around you? So there's a really powerful way to use our imagination in creative writing when we think about our senses. So what we are seeing, um, so we could see the huge ocean in front of us. We might see lots of families and lots of people on the beach playing. Um, another thing to think about is what can you hear? So perhaps you hear lots of people laughing and going in the sea and it's cold and they're saying oh it's cold um or maybe you can hear the kind of the sound of the waves in the distance and then what can you smell so maybe you can smell the sea salt air all around you so it's really powerful um when we're writing anything uh, that is creative writing when we can use our senses to describe the world around us so maybe have a go at really thinking about that. And that also might be um, some of the memories or words that came up in your circle um, of what makes you happy. So we've kind of thought about a few different things there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let you go and write your piece of creative writing and remember that this is a competition so there's loads of really exciting and brilliant things that you could win um, if you send in your piece of creative writing. Um, one more thing I did just want to say is that this is not about don't worry too much about making you know having your spelling completely perfect or making sure it's really neat um, or your handwriting is perfect. This isn't this isn't about that, okay? This is about you being able to be really free with your writing. Um, and that's exactly what we'd all love to read and love to see. So, so I don't want you to worry about that at all. You just have to believe that you can be a writer because you are, because everyone can be, because everyone can use their imagination. So I think the last thing that I need to say well, when you are when you um, want to send in your piece of creative writing, you can go to the Hammersmith and Fulham Arts Festival website and there'll be a special place there where you can upload um, your piece of creative writing. But otherwise, I think it's just time to say good luck to everyone. And I can't wait to read all of your pieces of creative writing. And I can't wait to hear about all of the things that make you happy. Okay. Bye everyone. Good luck.